Hey guys, so breaking news, we now have a confirmed date on which Apple will unveil its new and the best iPhone ever, the iPhone 8, that will compete head-to-head -head against the Galaxy Note 8. Along with that, we also have some other exciting confirmation news. So first off, the announcement date is confirmed. Joe Jones is reporting that Apple will unveil its 2017 iPhones, including the 7S, 7S Plus, and the iPhone 8, along with the new Apple Watch and 4K-supported Apple TV on September 12th. Now we talked about this in the last video so this perfectly follows the rumors and furthermore Wall Street Journal also confirms the September 12th date for announcement and not only that they told us where the event will take place so they have mentioned that event will take place in the thousand seat Steve Jobs Theater located at the company's new spaceship campus. Wow so this means that we are less than two weeks away from the official announcement of the most awaited iPhone 8 along with other Apple products. September 12 for the announcement, September 15 for pre-orders, September 22nd is the date where we can expect the iPhones to hit the stores. So a quick summary of the iPhone 8 if you have missed previous videos. So we will see a 5.8 inch OLED bezel screen with the black front and no home button. Home button is not the only thing they have killed, they also killed the Touch ID. Uh, it's now been removed in favor of Face ID or you can call it 3D Facial Scanner which is the most advanced sensor with the technology at least two years ahead of the competition. It will unlock with lighting fast speed even in dark conditions as well as lying flat on surface. It's going to be faster than Touch ID that's why Apple is replacing the Touch ID with this new Face ID. Apple A11 Monster Processor will be inside along with 3 gigs of RAM. Camera specs are likely to remain the same same uh, 12 megapixel but with a better laser sensor for improved photos, portrait mode, low light shots, faster autofocus and augmented reality. The HomePod firmware code revealed that the iPhone 8 will be capable of shooting 4K at 60fps from both front and back cameras which is absolutely insane. There will be an L-shaped 3000 mAh battery inside and will ship with iOS 11. Starting price is $1000 for the base 64GB model. Those who want more can go for the 256GB or the overkill 512GB models. Also this short video on YouTube shows us the iPhone 8 clone it's uh, almost close to the real iPhone 8 live in action and how the iOS 11 will look with no home button the interaction and everything this is actually a pretty damn awesome iPhone 8 clone with bezel-less screen and it's like completely matches the iPhone 8 even the back is similar so that's quite awesome for a copy clone and in case you're wondering no this is not actual iOS 11 it's a skin running on top of Android a new report has surfaced showing some disappointing news uh later a bit disappointing so the iPhone 8 7s and 7s plus all three models will support wireless charging but it won't be fast according to an unnamed source or Mako Takara the iPhone 8 will use the QI wireless charging standard but it will not go for the full 15 watt charging that is part of the QI 1.2 standard which means it won't be fast and furthermore the report says that Apple will lock down the M5 chip which means that the third-party QI pads may not work with the new new iPhones. And a very interesting news that came out last week, it seems that Apple has filed a patent that shows Apple Pencil support for the upcoming iPhone. But this is pretty interesting because the only phone on this planet with the best stylus feature is the Galaxy Note 8 and there's nothing out there right now that can compete with the Note 8's uh, stylus features but uh, it seems like Apple might actually launch the next iPhone 9 or iPhone 8s or whatever the future iPhone will be called uh, with Apple Pencil. That would be a bit interesting, but uh, again, it's just a patent. There's nothing else about it at the moment. So yeah, we are focused on the present and the present says the iPhone 8 is less than two weeks away from the announcement. And I am so excited about the recent features that we have heard. And guys, this is best and the most hyped phone of the year, without a doubt. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know the price is high, but that's kind of standard. We have the Note 8 coming at uh, close to $1,000 as well, so we can't complain. Uh, Apple, you know, $999 for the base model. Uh, are you willing to pay that much for the iPhone 8? And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.